shot. How you doing like that? Juicy J. Ty Dollar Sign. Lil Boosie. Kidding. Remix. See me grabbing on my toe. She told me smack her on the boot. What's up, it's your girl Luz, Don Diva Magazine, Don Diva Live, and with your boy Cash Out, what's good? What it do, what it do, what it do? So, she twerking. Yeah. What's good? <laughs> she twerking? <laughs> um, definitely, man, the hottest female record out right now. The album, Let's Get It, coming August 26th, man, that's crazy, man. Matter of fact, the second single was called Let's Get It. I was just playing it with um, Wiz Khalifa and Ty Dolla Sign. That's crazy, man. Just been working the album, pushing the album all, all year, you know, from the top to, to now, man. You know, just working on it, putting it together. It's a great body of work. Definitely. So, on this new project, who you working with? Um, as far as producers, um, myself, um, and I make Spins, DJ Spins, um, Metro, 808 Mafia. Um, as far as artists, Miss Khalifa, Ty Dollar Sign, uh, Rich Homie. Marker Flocker, French Montana, Chanel from Graham CMB. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's uh, uh, one of the best projects I've ever did. You know, to this day, part of my mixtape to my first album, and let's get it coming on August 26th. How long have you been doing this? Uh, well, on, uh, going on three years now, so probably. So you're pretty years. new to this game? Yeah, yeah, still fresh, still learning, still perfecting my craft. What inspired you to get into the music industry? Um, definitely everything I done been through for, you know, from cases to my last case to, you know, getting in trouble and just, you know, um, respecting that, you know, God gave me another chance, you know, blessing, you know, be out here making music and things like that. And, you know, that's what really turned me, because I, I, I was never in, like, in the music, you know, as far as making it, mm -hmm. but my partners were doing it, so when I caught my last case, I was like, I'm like, well, views like them, you know, see what I can do, you know, and I, I did it well, you know, as far as putting my life and my words, you know, into, you know, on the beat and just making it sound good. So, did you think you was going to get the reception that you're getting now? Like, did you really think that people would be like, okay, we well, come from the street, you know, I'm not sure if this is something he playing with or if he really got it. I think people took it that way, especially with cash and out, because the record was so huge, you feel me, as far as going on one and platinum and things like that, so when it be that huge, they be like, is it, is it this or what? Is it Wanda? But, you know, I was taking it serious, you know, this one no link to me, you know, as far as my mixtapes, you go back to this, my time, I, I took it serious, then, you know, I was really going in, and so now, you feel me, from the, to this album, let's get it, so, I know a lot of people was like, he probably just having fun with it, but when you hear this album, she, you heard she twerking you like okay you exactly. keep coming with these songs that they keep playing on the radio so it's gonna be a crazy album man i'm very proud of myself my team based slowly um the staff e1 staff man we've been going in yeah, man working hard did you find it hard to get a deal with e1 was it or did they come to you uh, most people have a hard <laughs> time getting a deal oh no i ain't find it hard because we was we was beating up the charts before they came so that's what so Kish's they came to you yeah that's what catches label attention it was mm -hmm. down in atlantic so you know we weigh options out, we weigh the money situation out, and, you know distribution and everything. Well, we just felt like E1 was playing a fair ball game, you know, exactly. which, which they still give you a chance to hustle hard at the same time. Mm -hmm. You won't never get lazy, but sometimes you might be on the major and feel like, oh, they doing everything. I feel like this. Makes and that's what usually happens. Yeah, like, get People in. get on a major and they feel like the major going to do all the yeah, work for them. You got to continue working. You got to continue pressing the gas on. The it's a when, you, when you was independent, you feel me? Uh, if you do, you can make a big situation out of it. You can be the biggest thing to owe at, you know, like a, like a Mac Miller to where he's at. You feel me? Yeah. Like, in, in independent, you can't beat it. He's selling 100000 brothers independent. Look at the money he's getting charged at 10 15 dollars yeah. a CD. Real fans and things like that. So that's what we looked at. You know, we weren't looking to hold because we were just with Epic. So we weren't looking to say, oh, we just want to sign back with a major real family. Yeah. One the way the options out where we could just take over the bill. What happened with the deal with Epic? You know, we we was bosses, you know, as they loaded and you know, we had the bosses up there, so when it came to picking songs, you know, we came in the building yeah. cashing out, you know, they didn't have to pick that. It was yeah. already going. So when they got behind it, 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 it did what it did, because what we did already. You 
feel me? So when it came to the second single, you know, it was a lot of people song and A and R's getting in situation. We want to pick a hit too, and you know, once it become that, everybody want to say they picked the a hit. You feel me? You know, it come. It, it's between that and one. I haven't seen a uh, A and R yet. You feel me? They let me be me as an artist. You feel me? They know I you have that creativity. Music. Yeah. So when you come to come to that, you know, you just see everything on the side with like oh, your horses. Feel like we need to go somewhere else. You feel me? And they granted us our wishes, you know, because we all made good money. You feel me? The record went platinum. We never had to um, drop an album where they had to spend hellacious money. So they made good money. So they respected our wishes. Do you have other artists that um, you have coming out underneath you? Um, not right now, but you know, I have um, my label that I already set up through my lawyer, you know, PMG. You know, um, I just been cool, you know, I want to bring myself you know, I, did, I just did that to solidify the legal part of it. Exactly. So nobody won't say, oh, we had this first and all that. But right now, I'm still branding, you know, cash out as an artist and, you know, bases loaded. That's, that's the, the team I'm with now, you know, and Slim and Dean and everybody. You know, I'm, I'm focused on that more. And, you know, once the artists come, I want to lay out a platform for my artists where it would just be real easy for them. Like, they ain't have to do, you know, what some you of the things I did. You exactly. feel me? So when I stamp you, you know, it'll be all good. You just do your job and keep making good music. What's next for you? Like, you, once you conquer this whole music game, reality TV? No, no. <laughs> I want to do some real movies or something. None of, none of reality TV. They all in your business. Exactly. Nah, I love to do some movies, though. Commercials, whatever. I did the Sprite Spotify commercial last year, so that was fun. You feel me? Everybody did from Kanye West, you know, to everybody. So that was fun. You know, been endorsed by Puma, you know. So I did even dab in a lot of stuff, you yeah. know, I'm with it, as long as the money right and, you know, situations right, you know, I can do it all, oh, you feel me? Exactly. And the light's on, I'm with it, <laughs> yeah. Have you, um, have you had any opportunities to, to, to brand yourself in the, like, for the future? Have any kind of writing for anybody, any movie deals, anything on the table? Um, I, I feel like I brand myself as a producer with these, these two tracks on the album. I've been working on that, trying to perfect that, you know, trying to figure out things. And, you know, I think it's going well every day I do it, you feel me? Just yeah. testing out new ways. And I feel like a lot of other hustles going to come, you know. You produce your own tracks? Yeah, yeah. Me and, me and, me and, um, co well, co produce me. I have to produce my own tracks. Uh, after the album, you know, it's probably going to be on the mixtape, on the mixtape or something. You know, these two on the um, album, I co produce with me, produce with me, and that would be a nominee. And we just, um, put together some magic. What do you think about the state of hip hop? Well, right it's, now. It's turned up. Turned up? It's turned up. So you think the tables have turned? Uh, we was on a decline, so they say. The South versus the North. Nah. New York versus the South. Yeah. You think that the playing field is kinda even now? I don't think it was never that. You feel me? Because if you make good music you can get played anywhere. Mm -hmm. Up top, down south. Uh, West Coast, you feel me? Like cashing out went everywhere. You feel me? She twerking, they play so, it everywhere. So you don't believe that hip hop once was dead? No, I never seen that. How can it be dead when you, the club's still alive? And exactly. DJs got to play club music every night. Yeah. How's it dead? Hit still being made. It's probably dead because you did. Exactly. You feel me? Like you got folks still making music. Fresh by the time you get played down south, mm -hmm. you got to make hits. Yeah. You know, Meek Mills, he get played down south, Miami, and nothing. You gotta make the music that fit. Bobby Schmurder, he's from up top, he get played down there. It's up to you to step in the booth and make, make music, the music that people for your hear. time. You feel me? Exactly. Right? That's all it is. Time done change. Mm -hmm. So when the time changes, you got people are loving club bangers. You know, you got real lyricists too, Kendrick Lamar's and people like that, but at the end of the day, they still was on club bangers. Fucking problems and you feel me? Drink, pour up drink. Them were radio club songs where you can play in the club. So you got to have them in your catalog, exactly. man. You know, when you're ready to turn up, or you just don't be in the club. Like, why can't I make a song like this? You feel me? You don't want to be like that, man. Salute to all the artists. You feel me? I never seen that hip hop dead or the North or Weekend play the most of the top. No, it's not that it's about you making good music. Kendrick Lamar get played over here. He make good music. For sure. Yeah, but that's what it's about. Good making music. good music. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. What sets you aside from others? My creativity and how I just feel like I can do anything and stick with it. You feel me with this pop song, you know, if 
it's a country song and it sounds good and I feel like I can rap on it. Let's well, get this one. money, yeah, let's get this money. So I feel like, you know, that makes me different from a lot of people that, you know, probably don't want to step outside of the box and say, I want the streets. If I want yeah. the streets for a street hustle to do it all, you feel me? If it was a drought on the weed, we gonna sell this, you feel me? Like, we gonna continue to get them bills paid now, you feel me? So that's why I think from the weed. Know, hustle mentality like you can do it all you can, if you ain't scared to jump out of the box you can do a movie you can be a ti you can be a 50 cent who, who used to who used to do his crimes or whatever he did rob or sell whatever you feel me come out and, and be on stars with one of the biggest shows right now that power is That's crazy what I'm like, i don't miss it I, I didn't miss one episode you gotta power think crazy. man and when you got hustles who think like that man they become larger like jay-z where they came from diddy you know where they came from you know this real hustler, Dr. Dre, where he came from, Death Row in LA and Compton. Like, real, real hustlers, man, who bring that real hustle mentality and through all the years of the work they put in. Look exactly. where they at now, you feel me? Don't come up with like, but if you stay consistent, it's gonna come. Do you find it difficult or hard to, to keep current? Like, you know, you give a lot of music that everybody wanna hear now. You constantly gotta, be creative and stay yeah. in the lab and, and stay in the club and listen to the radio. See, I mean, what? how do you balance that? Just keeping up with time once again. Like you say, you, you really said it, you know, staying in the lab, being in the club, you know, turning on the radio down every now and then. You're afraid to hear other music, you feel me? Like, because you want to know what the BPM is right now. You feel me? How the club tempo is right now. What kind of beats I need to have right now in this time of area. That's why you got to people who adapt the time, like the Waynes who've been in the, Lil Wayne who've been in the game, you know, 15, 20 years, you feel me? Yeah. He adapted to time every time. He's still here. You feel exactly. me? You got artists who, when they get it, like, I'm not afraid to make songs. He, what, he 30 something years, I'm not afraid to make songs with these young boys, you know, the rich homies, the cash outs, you know, whoever, Drake's. You feel me? If they got it popping, let's get it, let's work. I'm going to keep my name relevant, though, at the same time, you feel me? So, you got people who think like that, they gonna always keep up with time, no matter how old they are, no matter how high switch, they, they get it. What's a day like for cash out? Oh man, just really smoking real good, man. <laughs> studio, drinking good, you know, um, with my partners, man, and just trying to perfect my craft, you know, if being on the road, I'm definitely trying to get in the studio with my time at home, with my kids or something like how that. How many kids you have? I got two kids. Wow. I'm girl, so, um, I'm definitely trying to get Studio, if I ain't, if they booked up on the family, you know, in this road, just trying to build this brand and take it to the next level. You touring? Oh, I always, man. I, I haven't been on like a real arena, arena tour or nothing like that, but as far as club shows, you know, that's 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 always, you know, for the songs that I be making. But once it's time to step into that next level, I'm definitely ready. I done been on a lot of you know, uh, arena shows though, from you know, 20,000 people to you know, coming out on Guided House of Blues to, um, show in um, Ty Dolla Sign, um, latest tour he just had. I was on that, so I done been on um, other people's tours and, and uh, radio shows, 20,000 like that. But I can't wait for my own headlining and just you know, turning up for myself and my team. What's the difference between she's twerking and cash? Uh, I can't really say there's no difference because it's going to get out of strippers money when they play and one of them songs. You feel me? Um, the ladies love, they actually, man, the, the ladies love both the records. The fellas love both the records. That's what shot me when she twerking because they see it's a female driven record. When I'm doing my show, you might catch the fellas like, okay, all the girls dancing, they nod my head and like my she truck you just might like, catch one dude just go crazy like she fucking like everybody drunk you feel me so that's what shot me on a heavy female driven record that the fellas adapt to what i said when i said i'm still grabbing on my tool like that you feel me i ain't talking about now i'm talking about that strap so if you know what i'm talking about even on the remix like boosie got it because if you from the hood you know grabbing on that you see how he started grabbing on that tool smacking on that booty so he knew what i was talking about at the end so once you get it from a street perspective, like you talking about, you still got your strap, and you hitting, hitting the girl in the back or something. You feel me? For real. <laughs> what, when you, the song she's twerking and cashing out, 
do you think you'll always be known to that or do you feel like you have to elevate past that like can you make some real street bangers or will everything be club uh, I just when they say that I just say go listen it's my time you feel my first mixtape that's all I knew my CEO forced me to make you know, radio runs cause he knew that was what a big chicks were you feel me like you listen to it's my time that was three years ago before anybody was you know before anybody was anybody yeah. you know I've been talking about the trap and all that so you, if you tune in go check out it's my time my first mixtape three years ago you feel me on Go check out the previews after that. Go check out the album and Street Records on there, cooking it up. You know what I'm talking about on there. Let's get it. You know what I'm talking about on there. So if you get it and you see, they probably, you know, for the people who who gonna, who gonna get this album, let's get it. And the people who probably just heard two songs, Cash and Out, She Twerk, you know, three songs hold up. Exactly. You feel me? Them are, them are the radio records. You feel me? Like, but if you check my, my background, you understand go where I come from. Started off the intro is it's, it's heavy gangster like you can't you can't miss it. The whole album was strict. I mean the whole mixtape was strictly trap. Get up, get this money, no sleep, no sprint. You know, I had a couple female records on there, gangster female records. Like when you hit a tape, I'm like, oh, he on that street. So when you hit a, a radio record, I can't help that. You don't hear, you ain't gonna hear twelve of my records on the radio. You feel me? It's impossible. Who influences you? What other rappers? Uh, definitely, um, Pop, Pop when I'm on the road, heavy, but uh, Jay-Z, um, I like a lot of that, I like the music, uh, Bitch Down South, Pimp C, uh, as far as the new artist, me, um, I like when Drake do, he really get into a lot of things, versatile with the music. Um, Did you go to that concert last night? Nah, I actually didn't make it, I was working, and I had got in a crazy pass, but I wanted to get up to it. So, you know, I was working, everybody working with so, me. Um, yeah, man, Drake for the new school, me for the new school. You know, a lot of great new artists from here from Chicago. You know, Drake out You know, everybody making good music. I City, you know, Quan, uh -huh. Doug, everybody Future. You know, we just, everybody just turned up. I ain't, I, I ain't got no problem with nobody. Not that I know of if I do, let me know. You feel yeah. me? Just, just of keep me aware. Yeah, there was I a rumor you were robbed. Oh, no, nah, not nah. me. <laughs> that was on if you look it up they, they got that story right yeah. like you know it was so many um you know you got cash out this and cash out that so once they hit a, a cash out they think it's the That's big it. cash out the mainstream okay. cash out so it, it's not me i'm not at no waffle house slipping with my jewelry on like i, I got they said it was a twelve thousand dollar rolex i got the rolex with an ice in it you feel me with a forty thousand motherfucker so you know um none of my watches got took None of any problems I had in the streets got handled. You feel me? Like everybody had problems, but it's how you handle them. You exactly. feel me? So um, I don't, I don't, I don't condone in none of that. I don't feel like I, I can even be at a Waffle House without nobody around me with a strap, and I got all my jewelry on. Like you done for that anyway. You should exactly. deserve to get to. You exactly. feel me? So you know when we move like that, it's always somebody around me who's ready to get it. You feel me? So that's what it is. So. That, Porter who first made that, he sent me an inbox text like, I'm sorry, I thought it was you, you know, because they be so ready to type something. And I'm like, oh, look, what if I wake up, Twitter going crazy, you got robbed. Oh, not at no one. I got it like, yo, cash out my mom. I'm like, well, I was at the studio last night, then when he got the real person name, you know, they real government yeah. name, and then you know my name, John Gibson, so, you know, um, no, not me getting robbed. Uh -huh. he, he called the police. We ain't calling no police. We're going to find out who did that. You feel me? We gonna find. Ain't gonna be no reports on he got robbed, cause the police and all them made that. We gonna find out who did that. We ain't making reports gonna go to the streets. How much money we, we, we need to be having? How do you keep yourself? That's one thing that you don't have. I yeah. haven't seen one thing like from beat. How do you keep yourself from out of that? It, somebody's always taking shots. <clears throat> yeah, somebody, somebody else, you know, did that, but I have ignored it and exactly. checked it when I seen it. You feel yeah. me? I want to see you in person and get that feeling. I want to touch you and see if you was for real talking about what you were talking about then with the story chain and I know it's a game. You feel me? So um, I don't condone and all that. That's what I'm here to make hits. I can't I can't pay my bills trying to be with you all day. When we see each other it is what it is, whether we get a one or whatever it is, then I know it's real beef. You feel me? That's real beef what you want.
wanna thank you or throw a shout out there and say, let me see if Cash Out reacts so I can get uh, five to ten thousand fans or something like that. Let me see if he, he blow my name up or something like that. You ain't gonna get me like that. I'm not the one you throw the fish run out there and I'm gonna bite the bait. You feel me like that? It's not me, you feel me? When I done been through real situation, real life situations where when I look at the games, I can't even rap about you if I don't know you. I'm not out here trying to find out what he did me 10 years ago and now that now we just gonna handle that and that's what it is. So when it comes to beef, you know, respect me as a person, you know, not knowing where I come from and I'm gonna respect you as a person, not knowing where you come from, but if it come down there, I'm a man, you a man, and we gonna handle that my team and whatever it is, man. But I'm pretty sure people know I'm focused on this money. That's what it is, you know. We don't know no cash like that. Whatever you heard, you can Whatever you heard, just keep hearing. You feel me? Exactly. Until you know me, you know what I've been through. My trials and tribulations. I've been through fights, the shootouts, to facing ten or twenty years. So you feel me? If you if you understand that background, you understand my trap background from Lakewood to Cleveland. If you're from Atlanta, you see this interview. You know what I'm talking about. Pink City. You know what I'm talking about. Like right? I've been through this with me rapping about it for real. Don Diva Live. Don Diva Magazine. You heard it. Cash out. Yeah. Don't get, get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. We saving big snacks to it. We turn it up and we, <laughs> we twerking. <laughs> <laughs> she twerking. Let's get it out. I was 26. Yeah. We out. Yeah. Lambo. Left, right. Left, left, right. I hit that. Tina Ike. She dropped down and twerking. And now I see the light. She grabbing on my toilet. My daughter. My daughter. She took a smacker on the boot.